and welcome to the channel, An Englishman in the Balkans. Today it's not a vlog, it's more of like an informative video just to show you how I make the content for my channel as easily as possible. Now what you have to understand is I'm a slightly older guy and I'm not all that tech astute. All right. I like to think that I'm an early adopter. I'm on all the platforms first and I read all the tech reviews uh, on the web and watch all the tech review videos as well. And then I suddenly get an idea into my head that I want to spend some money and do things. But uh, on my channel, on my vlog and video channel, I wanted to find the simplest and easiest way. And um, this is what I use and maybe it will help you to do something really creative but you don't have to spend a lot of money uh, and have tons and tons of um, very complicated and expensive equipment. So some time ago I decided that I would get um, a decent camera. This is um, the Canon 650DS. I think it's called the Rebel T3 maybe, I don't know. And then I got the uh, Video uh, Mic Pro, the Rode Video Mic Pro with the furry cat thing on top. Um, and then I went and invested um, from Amazon on some light boxes. I've still got to learn how <laughs> to, uh, to, light, to light myself, but I'm sure I'll do that um, in the future. But I think at the tail end of last year, that's 2016, um, I decided to leave um, my iPhone out of making videos and I've always been um, an Apple sort of geeky person but um, I always liked Apple um, I thought their technology was superior than anything else and it is um, but I went after seeing a review um, online to this this is the one plus range I think I don't know if you can see that there is one plus and uh, I bought the one plus three I'm hoping as soon as I get some cash um, it's all to do with the pension. Um, I'd get an I, I, uh, OnePlus 5. The reason, great camera, very powerful. This has got, um, I think, 6 gig of RAM in it. So it really moves a lot faster than the iPhone. And then um, I started filming on a selfie stick and on one of these Joby Gorilla Pods, tripods. The only thing is, you have to be very careful, as I found out. Um, if the camera's too heavy, the legs just sort of like collapse. So I was using this mounted on here, um, but I was getting shaky shots. I think you get shaky shocks. Shaky shots when you get older. Or maybe that's just me. So, I went and bought one of these. This is the DJI, uh, Osmo Mobile and it took me about six months of stop start stop start till I got used to using this but it is first class really is first class and easy to use what you got to do is play with it right so this is what I'm using now uh, I just put my um, mobile into the device it's nice and stable I can walk move around do nice pan shots it's great I'm sure there's tons of videos um, online that will show you how to set this up but I just use it with the onboard DJI uh, app and for me for my vlogging I don't need 4k 1080 is enough with for me and uh, this also performs reasonably well not brilliant uh, but reasonably well in low light I do have a Canon G7X that I carry with me in my pocket just in case I have to have really good low light shots but this has been perfect I used to then download this uh, onto my uh, laptop and uh, do the edit using Adobe Premiere Pro. But uh, I found this, this is KineMaster. It's an app for iOS and Android and I'm using this all the time now. Uh, here's a quick glimpse.
It's super. I use the pro version. I think it's 40 euros a year, maybe 40 pounds a year. Definitely worth it. Uh, I think within a week of playing with it, you can do everything. You can overlay, mix audio, um, shot in shot, uh, picture in picture, whatever. It's amazing and there's more and more tools uh, and add-ons coming to it almost um, by the week. I do it all on this and I even upload to my blogging platforms, my video platforms using this as well. In the show notes below, I'll put uh, all the information that I've been talking about. Um, and if you want to find out more, then um, just send me a comment or a message. But you really, to start off with, just need to invest. Well, if you've got a stable hand, you won't need the stabilizer, but you can do everything on a mobile phone these days. Um, and I think when the OnePlus 5 comes, um, it's going to be taken to a whole new level. So there yeah, are a bit of a ramble, but I hope the information has helped you. Please share, like and subscribe to the video and uh, I'll catch you next time.